Good morning, everyone. I'll be presenting my paper on corneal hysteresis as a novel, innovative, non-invasive biomarker for the severity of diabetic retinopathy. As we know that diabetes mellitus affects a lot of individuals around the globe, and India ranks second in the world among the number of patients with diabetes, nearly 77 million people. Now, cornea sclera and lamina cribrosa is made from the same extracellular collagenous matrix. Corneal hysteresis has been shown to be a misnomer as it is not only the product of the cornea, but that of the sclera also. Therefore, the changes that take place in the cornea sclera and lamina cribrosa may be reflected as a change in the biomechanical property of the cornea. And there has been no study to show the correlation between the biomechanical properties of the cornea with the severity of diabetic retinopathy. The aim was to evaluate corneal hysteresis as a biomarker for assessing the severity of diabetic retinopathy. It was a tertiary care center-based cross-sectional study done over a period of one year. And uh, we included consecutive patients of type 2 diabetes between 40 to 65 years of age group. And in asymmetric involvement, the eye with the more severe form of disease was included. The exclusion criteria, we excluded any patients of glaucoma, any patients with tear frim alterations, ocular surface diseases, including any abnormality of the cornea, patients with any other systemic disease affecting the retinal vasculature, or, and we only included treatment naive patients. We did a thorough history in anterior segment and fundus evaluation, and corneal hysteresis was taken using the ocular response analyzer, G3 of USA. Sample size was calculated as 88, so we took 22 controls, 22 patients with no DR, 24 patients with NPDR, and 22 patients of PDR. This was the result. As we can see, that there is a decrease in corneal hysteresis throughout the groups, which was significant, with increasing severity of diabetic retinopathy. This, uh, over here, we can see that um, in patients of control versus cases, it was a significant biomarker, as well as in patients with uh, no DR to NPDR. This is the area under the curve for no DR versus NPDR and NPDR versus PDR. As we can see, it is more significant in the no DR versus NPDR group. So the conclusion is that corneal hysteresis is a sensitive and specific biomarker for differentiating the severity of disease from no retinopathy to retinopathy stage. A possible mechanism for this could be advanced glycation end products, which have been shown to be present in patients of uh, uh, diabetes in the cornea. And as we all know, that it causes diabetic, it is a contributing factor for diabetic retinopathy. So this AirPef method is an easily done uh, method for um, patients. It is a non-invasive and easy. It can be done by even optometrists. So this is this can have impact on the future in how we uh, diagnose retinopathy. Thank you. See, this is very debatable till now because uh, in Journal of Ophthalmology 2019 also, if you see there is an article about uh, diabetic uh, corneal hysteresis does not change much. That is okay, you did the study. So I'm asking you, how will you explain it? Means why the corneal hysteresis factor is different in diabetes? Do you have any uh, suggestion in your study? So in another study which we have seen, it was a study done on rabbit eyes. They had uh, induced type 2 diabetes using alloxin and they had uh, taken out, they had uh, enucleated the eyes and they had demonstrated advanced glycation end products to be present in the cornea and they had uh, done a tangent mod modulus on that which is a stress strain relationship and said that uh, advanced glycation end products was the one which increased the rigidity of the cornea. That is the word they had used. Factor increases. Yes. CRF. And how it is practically you are proposing to Sir, uh, especially, uh, sir, as we know that uh, for the diagnosis of diabetic, uh, diabetic retinopathy, we need to do a thorough indirect ophthalmoscopy, which is a minimum. So, sir, in patients where, uh, in uh, patients who don't have access to that kind of infrastructure and that kind of ophthalmology, in uh, even rural areas, uh, an air puff method through Aura can be an easier way of screening patients with diabetic retinopathy as it was sensitive only for no DR to NPDR stage. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you.